Hey, what's going on YouTube? Really quick video here. Um, this is really just a just informing you guys of um, this pocket clip that I got from USA Knife Maker. Uh, dot com. Uh, I was actually um, introduced to this pocket clip from uh, Trenton. I think 111. Um, I'll I, I'll see if I can put down his uh, address on the description down below. Um, but he did a video um, of some of these clips, uh, some knives that he had replaced uh, with these clips. So just wanted to let you guys know uh, about this clip. It's a you know titanium clip, 6AL4V titanium clip. I mean, if you feel how light um, this is, it's, it's a feather. Um, you can feel a substantial difference actually between these steel clips um, versus the titanium. Um, I'm not a big you know weight you know stickler about weight or whatever I just love titanium <laughs> I have a titanium fetish and um, you know I, I just love everything about titanium the weight the strength um, the look of it and all that kind of stuff and like you can anodize it and whatnot so USA knife maker I think it's like five dollars and maybe like 20 cents or something per clip so that's pretty cheap considering you know my favorite clip is actually the the steel uh, Emerson clip and um, you know Emerson on his website, it's it's relatively cheap, but shipping is like ridiculous. It's like fifteen bucks or something for shipping. Um, the clips themselves are like seven bucks or something. Um, you know, I really like the skull clips and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not going to pay twenty bucks, um, you know, for a clip. So anyway, I, you know, I really like the Emerson style clip, but um, so the cool thing about this clip anyway is that it's tapped for. Um, you know all the design of all these clips. You know, bench made. You know, all these holes they they line up perfectly. So uh, you can put these titanium clips on any Emerson if you want to. You know, especially if you have like a satin finished blade or a stone wash finished blade. You know, you can put these clips on here. Um, and this, you know, obviously I already have one here on my bench made. Um, so you know, a lot of knife makers. You know, even some custom. You know, this Hoback, you know, custom right here, you know, it's tapped perfectly uh, to be able to use these kind of clips. So um, these two clips, I also believe, are from USA Knife Maker. This one was somewhat customized by Jake Hoback. Um, you know, so this is actually the clip that came with um, his A10. And I really, I mean, me personally, I really hated this, um, this clip. Um, it's, you know, it's kind of a deep carry po po uh, pocket clip and... Uh, the retention is, I don't know, it's just kind of flimsy. Um, so that's why I put this Emerson clip on here. Um, I tried putting this clip on, on the uh, Hoback, but it was a little... <laughs> I don't know. Again, I, I just really like this Emerson clip, and I think the Emerson clip fits uh, the Hoback perfectly. But again, you know, I put this on here. Um, I might try to put it on some Emersons or, or something uh, if I get some other ones with... Um, you know, like a stone, again, the stone wash blade or whatever. So I just think it's so much better, um, definitely better than the split arrow clip, um, way better than the standard old uh, Benchmade, you know, where they have it engraved on here um, and the painted color and all that kind of stuff is just, it's just ghetto. I hate it. Um, so, yeah, if you're looking for pocket clips to, um, you know, replace or if you broke them, I mean, Benchmade will... Their policy is pretty good, so they'll send you new clips or whatever. But if you want to try a new clip uh, with a little bit of you know curves and, and stuff like that, this is definitely a cool one to check out. So USA Knife Maker um, Single uh, dot com, it's a cool site. Just to look at all, they have all kinds of things, you know, between like phosphor bonds, bushings, spacers, thumb studs. Um, so it's just for anyone who's getting started in in knife making. Um, I'm not. Yet, I would definitely love to dabble in that one of these days if I can. Um, I'd have to really do a lot of research on like machinery and all that kind of stuff. But um, in terms of something simple like this, unscrewing it with a Torx wrench, <laughs> it's easy enough for a noob like me. So um, yeah, so go check them out. Awesome. I, I, I really like these clips. Good retention, um, strength and all that kind of stuff. If it's too tight, you can easily adjust it and, and bend it however you want. So. Alright guys, that's it. So check out these clips. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.